Okay, a storm Kieran batters parts of southern England and the Channel Islands. It's brought heavy rain and wind gusts of more than 100 miles an hour. I'm scared. I don't have any place to, to live and I don't have pay sleep for rent house. I don't have any money to rent house. So when people get their status, they are incredibly excited. They're going to be independent, they're going to be able to earn. And then if they get an eviction letter just a week after that, and they get seven days to move out, of course they're terrified. We see people who are shaking with fright at the thought that in a couple of days they're going to be sleeping in a doorway or sleeping under the bridge. مضمون الرسالة انه يجب عليه اخلاء الغرفة في غضون سبعة ايام فقط. انصدمت الحقيقة انصدمت من الموقف اللي صار يعني من الرسالة اللي شفتها واحترت شو بدي اساوي ما عندي ما عندي حلول يعني ما عندي حلول وانا يعني ما انا مرتبط لا بعمل ولا مرتبط بشيء الامر صعب علي جدا واجواء بريطانيا اجواء لندن تحديدا كلها امطار وبرد يعني موقف صعب جدا يعني تخيلت هذا الموقف اني انام بالشارع يعني موقف لا احسد عليه. This is the EASE project, um, which the church hosts. EASE is a uh, separate charity now. Hopefully they found a welcome, a, uh, a warm, dry place for a cup of tea, cup of coffee, a chat. And then uh, there's a little food bank that runs and um, we serve a meal. There's English lessons, support for those with young children. And then also helping people as much as we can signpost them to uh, where they uh, might need a little bit of help with something. I think the cross-cultural, cross-faith and no faith of ease offers the richness and I think it gives an example of what Britain's like in terms of the multiculturalism and also we all share the same desire to give a warm welcome. I became a host rather unexpectedly. One of my students was being evicted and I could see the anxiety and the concern. When I see our guests turn up and realise they only have two, if they're lucky, three weeks before they have to find somewhere to live, it breaks my heart. Um, they've worked so hard to get their English to a level. They desperately want to integrate, but they find it impossible to find somewhere to rent. Anywhere they look at privately, they need six months employment history. Anywhere they look uh, to work, they want a permanent address. If they then become street homeless, it's so difficult to recover from that. If I didn't find a family, uh, I would be homeless. The Muslim in the future, for me, is a dream. I don't see anything. I don't know. What we'd like the government to do now is to show some humanity. We would say it needs to be at least 28 days, which is what it used to be, and even longer if possible, which gives you a fighting chance of finding somewhere to live and not being on the street.